Hi everyone, welcome to this GCSE Foundation Revision video. It's 47 days to go into your GCSE Maths exam and today we're going to be looking at percentage change. So in this video we're going to look at percentage change and we'll use the same approach whether the question says percentage change or percentage increase or percentage decrease or percentage profit or percentage loss or percentage gain and things like that. We'll be using the same approach. So in this video I'm going to talk about that approach and we're going to go through some questions and also there'll be some questions for you to try. So feel free to pause the video and to give those questions a try yourself. So let's get started. Okay, let's have a look at today's topic. So today's topic is percentage change. And if we ask to find the percentage change or percentage increase or percentage decrease or percentage profit or percentage loss or so on, we use this formula that the percentage change is the change divided by original times 100. And if we do change over original times 100, that will tell us the percentage change. So here we've got a question. It says, last season, York City sold 3,200 season tickets. And this season, York City sold 3,800 season tickets. Work out the percentage increase. So feel free to pause the video now and to use this formula and to work out the percentage change. Okay, so to find the percentage increase, we're going to do the change. Well, that's what it changes by. That's what it's gone up by. So if we do 3,800, take away 3,200, that's equal to 600. So the change is 600. They've gone up by 600. Divided by the original. Well, last season they had sold 3,200, so over 3,200. That's what it originally was, the original. And then we're going to multiply by 100. And when we type this into our calculator, 600 over 3,200 multiplied by 100, that gives us an answer of 18.75%. So that means that the increase in season ticket sales was 18.75%. And that's it. So if you got that, well done. Okay, let's have a look at another one. And this is a non-calculator question, so I'm putting down my calculator. And we've got the height of a plant increases from 40 centimeters to 52 centimeters. Work out the percentage increase. So it's percentage increase, so we're going to be using the formula change over original times 100. So in terms of the change, well, it's gone from 40 up to 52, so the change is 12. Divided by the original, well, it was originally 40 centimetres, multiplied by 100. So if we work out 12 divided by 40 times 100, that'll be the percentage change. So in terms of 12 over 40, well, this is a non-calculator question. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to actually cancel down this fraction. So these numbers are both divisible by 4. 12 and 40 are both in the 4 times tables. So let's simplify this fraction. So that means 12 divided by 4 is 3, and 40 divided by 4 would be 10. So cancelling down this fraction gives us 3 tenths, and then we've still got times 100. Now we're going to do 3 tenths times 100. Now there's a couple of ways you could do this. You could do 3 tenths times 100 and do it like multiplying fractions. I probably wouldn't do it that way. The other way you could do it is to do, well, 3 tenths is 0 0.3 as an equivalent decimal. So you could do 0 0.3 times 100. That'll be 30%. So you could do it that way. Or the way I would do it is I would just work out what 3 tenths of 100 is. So I take my 100, I divide by the bottom. 100 divided by 10 is 10 times by the top, times by three, would be 30. So that means the percentage increase would be 30%. And that's it. So that means the percentage increase in height of the plant is 30%. And that's it. Okay, let's have a look at one last question. Now, this is a calculator question, and feel free to pause the video and to try this question out yourself. Okay, so the question says, Finn bought a TV for £250, and two years later, he sold the TV for £198. Work out the percentage loss. So in this question, let's look at the change. Well, he bought it for 250 and he sold it for 198. So the change is 52. It changed by 52 pound. Divided by the original, he originally bought it for 250 pound. So over 250 multiplied by 100. So we just need to work this out in our calculator. So we do 52 divided by 250 times 100 or 52 over 250 times 100. And that's equal to 20.8. So that means the percentage loss is 20.8%. And that's it. So if you got that, well done. So that's it. So in today's video, we've looked at percentage change that is found by change divided by original times 100 and that's it and also look out for words such as percentage increase percentage decrease percentage profit percentage loss because we'll be using the same technique and that's it and that's it so in this video we've looked at percentage change so change divided by original times 100 and that'll give us the percentage change also remember there were terms that we can use for percentage change percentage loss percentage profit percentage increase decrease and so on so i hope you find this useful with 47 days to go to your GCC maths exam, I'd highly recommend at this point you're looking at your five a days, so you're doing your numeracy, your foundation, your foundation plus five a days to help you with your revision in the lead up to the exam. So keep up the hard work and I'll see you tomorrow at three o'clock for the next one for 46 days to go to your GCC maths exam. Cheers. Bye.